So quantities and units, what do they mean? Well, if we look at the letter C, uh, the letter C can represent many things in physics. It could be for a material, perhaps the specific heat capacity. It could also be the speed of light, or perhaps the capacitance. It could also be the unit of electrical charge that we call the coulomb. Now all of these are represented by the symbol C uh, and that's why you need to be aware uh, in physics uh, what is what. Now in the two columns here, uh, the ones on the left are the amount of something and this is what we call a quantity. A coulomb is what we measure something in and that's a unit. We can think about quantities in two ways. It is the amount of something. Now some things are fairly straightforward, some things are a bit more abstract, but we can really think about things that just depend on the amount of something, perhaps like the mass of an object, or we can also think about things that depend on the direction, like velocity or acceleration. So we can really think about quantities in terms of scalar or vector quantities. What you might see is that uh, we only have 26 letters in the alphabet. Uh, and what we have to do then is think about a way of trying to represent everything that we have in physics. So one way we can get around this is using uh, either perhaps a capital letter or maybe a lowercase. And little c may be the speed of light, uh, large c is capacitance. Equally, we might have the mass of an object or the moment. And a little m and a big m mean very, very different things. But you soon realise we've only got 52 possible combinations and there are hundreds of things that we need. So we use letters from other alphabets, perhaps uh, lambda or phi. However, this still doesn't quite solve our problem. So what we can do is maybe combine them together. Okay, we have various combinations. So the unit of pressure is a Pascal PA. However, you have to know your stuff. As you get more and more familiar with the course, you'll see what units stand for what. And context is important. MC delta theta is going to be very different from E is equal to MC squared. Okay, the context is absolutely vital.